are used today. We have what's called velocity logic functionality. Right now, when the markets move precipitously very quickly, we'll stop them for a microsecond or a minute. With this product, these bumpers are going to be a lot longer. So even though we have intraday limits, we also will have the velocity functionality that might stop the Bitcoin market for an hour. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to add a lot more structure to the marketplace. Terry, I'm, saw, I'm sure you saw Barron's over the weekend. They were talking to Thomas Petterfee, the co-founder or founder of Interactive Brokers, and he said, for the first time, I am extremely scared when asked about Bitcoin futures, and specifically, he cites the low margin rates that a lot of the smaller, weaker clearing firms um, will probably offer in order to attract business. Is there any plan to limit clearing a member's liabilities for peers to a certain amount to ensure that there isn't so, sort of a spread of liability? Melissa, I had a conversation with Mr. Pettifer. He obviously called me because they're one of our bigger clearing members. And I understand that. And hopefully now I've had my team working with his team and hopefully has a better understanding of what we're trying to do here. And every FCM that trades on the CME has the ability, Melissa, if our margin is 20%, 30%, or 40%, whatever it may be on a particular product, that particular FCM can increase the margin in and of itself. It doesn't have to go off of what the exchange is. That's the bare minimum. They can always charge more. So, or they could tell clients they don't want people using those products. And we've seen that before. So this is nothing different than any other products we've seen. And I also think that what's important, when we have liquidation-only events at the CME or force majeure, things of that nature, Melissa, when someone says to me, the price is going to go to zero, what are you going to do? I said, I'm not going to let it go to zero. I'm going to implement something. If the, if the market drops precipitously, we'll stop trading. And if we think that the, pro the product's going away, we will set a price. We have the longs. We have the shorts. We'll match them up at a price. And that's the way our rules read today. Two quick questions to end it up, Terry, because I know you got to go. Number one is, do you think that, that trading the futures in Bitcoin will limit some of the upside to it as well because it tames it? And number two, can we put a date on when we might be able to short Bitcoin? I can't answer your first question because I have no idea. And again, I, it's, I'm not, I should not be trying to predict the price of products. I'm here to manage the risk of products. So, you know, you hear some people say it's worth 25, 35,000. Some people say it's worth zero. So there's a big spread there, Brian, <laughs> uh, on the price alone. When can you be able to short with this product? Uh, I think sometime in the second week in December, you'll see our contract out for listing. This for year? Trade. December of this year, yes. This year. Okay. Terry Duffy, Chairman and CEO of the CME. Terry, thank you for having thank CNBC at your conference. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate you, you being here. Do your conference. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Tyler, if you want to short Bitcoin, it's mid-December. All right. I'll have to wait. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up on Power Lunch, more big interviews. The CEO of Tyson Foods will join us. His company reporting a strong...